In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import Procreate files from other sources. So this can be really frustrating and kind of confusing, but the simplest way that we've found to download these files into your Procreate app is by using Dropbox. So Dropbox is a free website, and basically the purpose is to share files on the cloud. So you can go to dropbox.com and create a free account. You just need your email address, create your free account, and then log in. So I'm going to show you two different ways to download the Procreate file into Dropbox. The first will be using this computer, and then the second will be directly on Procreate. So, and there's actually two ways of doing it from the computer. I'll show you both. So the first step is finding your Procreate file. I'm using an example from one of our online courses through Teachable, and we have our workbook saved as Procreate files. But you can do this method from anywhere that you would be downloading this file type. So the file type is going to end in .procreate. So some other file types might be .pdf. This one will be .procreate. So whether you're downloading it from an email or from Google Drive or from some website or from Teachable, it should look like this. Okay, so the first step is getting this file from whatever website you found it on into a Dropbox folder. So one way that you can do this is on your computer, click on the file and then save it to your Dropbox folder directly. So I have a Dropbox account already and I have it linked on my computer so that it shows up right here. And then I have a folder that I've created called Procreate. So I'm just going to save it right there. Okay, now that's one way of saving it into the Dropbox folder. There were a few things I had to do to set it up so that Dropbox would appear on my desktop already. So a different way you could do this is click the, the file and instead of downloading it directly to Dropbox, you can download it to a folder on your uh, computer. So if I go to desktop and then I have a folder that I already made called Procreate and this is where I'm going to hit save. So this is just a folder, a regular folder on my desktop and then you can use the web version of Dropbox to upload it. So right here you can already see that the first file I downloaded is already showing up in our Dropbox folder. So that's what the file sharing is all about. But if you're uploading it from your computer, like this one that we saved to our desktop, you would have to go to the web version of Dropbox, do upload files, find the folder. So mine was desktop, procreate, double click, and then it's going to upload here. So the reason that we're adding it to this Dropbox folder is so that when we go to our iPad, we can find this file in the Dropbox folder. So this was just two methods of using your computer to get the Procreate file from the website and download it into Dropbox. Now let's go to the iPad and see how we can import it. All right, so I'm on my iPad now and you will want to download the Dropbox app. So you can just go to the app store and search for Dropbox, one word, and then it's the one that looks like this. So you'll just do download and then log into the account that you created on your computer. So once you're logged in to your account, you'll see that you have a Dropbox icon down here. So this is where we will see our folders. And so I've created a folder already called Procreate. Now these are both of the files that I saved from my computer in Dropbox and it has synced to my iPad. So just one note about that, your iPad and computer will both have to be connected to Wi-Fi or to internet, and it might take a few minutes for it to sync, but once you save something from your computer into Dropbox, then it will automatically show up in your files on your iPad and vice versa. That's the beauty of file sharing in the cloud. Okay, so now that you have the Procreate files, you can see it says .procreate. Um, if I were to just tap on this right here, you'd be able to see the file name .procreate, and this is what the screen would look like. So in order to actually open it in the Procreate app, we are going to open Procreate, and then in the top right corner, there's a button that says import. So I'm going to do import, 
and then it will give you some locations that you can import from. So I'm using Dropbox, so I'll go to Dropbox, find the Procreate folder, and here both of my files are showing up. It's the same file, it's just one I saved directly to Dropbox and one I uploaded from my computer. Okay, so just pick the one that you want to open. It might take a minute to download and then it will import for you right into the Procreate app. Okay, so that's the method of using your computer to download the file from your computer to Dropbox and then opening it on your iPad. There's another way you can do this. So if you are just using your iPad, not your computer, then you can go to, again, whatever site you're trying to download your file from. I'm going to use the same site. So this is Teachable. I've just logged in on Safari and I'm going to navigate to where I can find one of these files. So let's just go to Module 2 Workbook and now I can see, again, I'm looking for the Procreate file here, so not the PDF, although you can download PDFs to your iPad. So to use the Procreate one, we're going to tap on the file. Sometimes you need to do it twice. It will open in a new tab. And then it might take a second to load. So once the file has loaded, for me it says the first option right here says open in Dropbox. If that doesn't show up for you, you might have to do more and then slide over this way and say copy to Dropbox. Or it might even say copy directly to Procreate. So um, that's an option that sometimes doesn't show up on iPads. So if it doesn't show up for you, then use the Dropbox method. So copy to Dropbox. It will ask you where you want to save it. So I'm going to go to that folder I had before and click choose. And now it's saving that file to this Dropbox folder. So then we would do the same exact method where we would, once we see that it's saved here, you can go to Procreate, go to your gallery, do import, find the, the folder, and then find the file. So this is the file we just downloaded, Flourishing Module 2. Tap on it. It's going to download, and then it will import for you into Procreate. So I know that's a lot of steps. So let's just go back to Safari again for one second. Now, if you do get the option, let's open a different workbook. Let's do module three this time. So tapping on it, if you do more, and it does have the option to, see now it doesn't have the option to open to Procreate. So that's, <laughs> for whatever reason, it's just glitchy. But if it did say copy to Procreate, then you would just hit that button and it would import automatically. For whatever reason, it doesn't always show up, and this is proof of that, that um, you may just need to save it to Dropbox first and then open it up in Procreate. So I know that's a lot of steps, but once you do it a couple times, it will get easier, and that's the simplest way that we've found to download files from a website or from email to Dropbox and then opening it up in Procreate.